Good morning. So, close your eyes. Settle your sit, sitting bones onto the block. You can have your knees close to wide. You know, whatever really is appropriate for your body. Hands down, hands up, hands in prayer. Whatever, again, kind of connects with you today. But do close your eyes softly. Gaze to the tip of your nose. And just start to slow down the mind, slow down the thoughts, slow down the breath. You know, this may be the only time of our day that we get some peace, some time to ourselves. So really be present for yourself. And it will be a present for yourself. Now inhale your hands to prayer at your heart center. Take your next breath to stretch the arms all the way up overhead. Spread your fingers, let them go to the side. Good morning. We're sitting on a block in Virasana. Right arm down, left arm up. Just push away from the floor and twist the upper body, rotate. Inhale back through center to the other side. Just walk your fingertips out. And Maria, just go ahead and mute. Inhale back up. Thank you, Dawn. Arms behind your back. Knuckles to the earth. Lift your chest up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your triceps together. And just knuckle to earth to lift your heart. Inhale. The arms stretch all the way up. Exhale. Take it to your right side. Left hand outside. Right hand behind you. Fingertip tented. Inhale and exhale. Gaze over your right shoulder, drop both shoulders down. Inhale through center to the other side as you exhale. Good. Inhale back to center, arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Move your block to the side if it's there. And just shake out your legs. Come to your hands and knees. Music's picking up a little bit. We'll move the body a little bit more. Tuck your toes, hands under shoulders, knees up and hips. Stiff your belly, arch your back. Exhale, chin to chest, round and curl. Push the top of the foot and chin to the floor. And tuck your tailbone. Inhale, tuck your toes, arch your back, lift your belly, broaden your collarbones. Everybody have a little turn up of your lips, so you smile. Exhale, round and curl. That little Mona Lisa smile. Now take a couple of rounds on your own, arching and rounding, using the breath, letting it be your guide. And when that feels good and you're warmed up, take it into some circles, dancing lions. Start out small, juicing up your joints, go a little bigger when and if it feels appropriate to you. And then we're going to reverse it. Listen to your body. Just get some good feedback here. And then make your way back to center. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Push the earth away. Round your back, dome it. Take the top of your foot, shin down. Stay with the rounded back and just lift your shins off the floor. I'm sorry, top of your foot down. Shins come off the floor. Round your upper back. Pull the belly up and in. Breathe and push the earth away. Spread your shoulders. One more breath, everybody. Exhale, knees down. Push your hips to your heels, child's pose. Reach your arms out in front of you. Spread your fingers. Breathe down the sides of your bodies. Inhale, back to hands and knees. Arch your back, tuck your toes. Exhale, top of the foot down. Chin, chest down. Rounded spine, shins lift up. Good, round and curl. Inhale, release. Child's pose, stretch it back. Mm -hmm. Inhale, hands and knees, arch your back, tuck your toes. Exhale, round and curl, top of the foot down, lift your shins. Pull your belly in. And exhale, knees down. 
push back to child's pose. Inhale to all fours and step your right foot between your hands. Good. Lift the back leg back a little bit further. Make sure your right knee is over your ankle. Pull your collarbones forward. Inhale. If you need a block, place the block under the left hand, right hand to your hip. As you turn to the side, get your length and then lift your body up off your thigh and hug your right hip towards midline. Stay here or take that right arm all the way up. No collapsing on that thigh. One more breath. Find a little bit more depth. Exhale, right hand inside. Walk your hands to the left corner of your mat and hug your right knee towards your right shoulder. Just releasing a little bit into that back leg, finding a little action in the front leg. Breathe in and out. One more breath. Good, walk the hands back in. Good, right on the inside of your right foot, turn your left toes to the left, let the hip draw back to center. Right hand on the floor, block left hand to your hip, or up in the air, or even a half or full bind here. See what your body is talking about. What's the conversation you're having with it today? How loud is it? Good, release that back arm, if it's not. And take it down to the floor, spin yourself forward, and just straighten the front leg, toes up or down. Pull the right hip back. Lift your heart up and fold a little bit forward over your shin. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. One more breath. Exhale. Empty out. Find a little more depth. And then come on back. Bend the front knee. Now step the right leg back in the air. So you're on all threes. Hands under shoulders. Tuck your left toes underneath you. Dip your chin and chest down to the floor. A little sunburn type bow. Bring your knee to your chest, round and curl. Extend the leg away. Dip chin and chest, elbows hugged by the rib cage. Inhale, knee in. One more time, kick it back up. Exhale, chin, chest down. Inhale, bring the knee to the chest. And then set it down underneath. Maybe a little cat-cow action here if it feels good to you. And then find yourself back into neutral as you step your left foot forward between your two hands. Hands on either side and snuggle, out, snuggle that right leg back a little further. You can use the blocks under your hands. I highly recommend blocks. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, just keep dropping that right hip down so you have a little bit of action into the front of the thigh. Right hand stays down, left hand to your hip as you rotate to the left side. Lengthen out of your torso and then maybe the left arm comes up, eye gaze can follow if it feels comfortable to you. Inhale, exhale, keep finding length in the spine and then rotating for the depth. One more breath. Good, exhale the hand inside the foot. Both hands walk to the outer right corner of your mat. And as you do that, hug your left knee towards your tricep. Push your right hip towards the floor, get some release there and get some energy working through that left side. One more breath, let your head hang down, it's okay. You don't need to look up at me if you can hear my voice. Inhale, the hands come back in. Turn your right foot to the left side. Hug the left hip towards midline, right hand to the hip, to the sky, half or full bind. You choose. If the full bind takes your shoulders forward, then get out of the full bind and just work on the opening of the torso. Take another breath. Good, looking down. Hands come to the floor, spin your back foot around. Take your hands on either side of the foot, tuck the right toes, and then stretch the left leg back behind you. Flex the foot. Good, chin chest down. Inhale up, knee to chest, round and curl. Extend the leg out, little sunburn. Good, bring the knee to the chest, round and curl. One more time, take a bow. Round and curl, hold it. Knees to the earth, cat and cow. Come to neutral, tuck your toes under if they're not. Lift your knees up, find your downward facing dog. Make it soft. Separate your feet as wide as your mat, so your pinky edges of your toes are on the long edges of the mat. 
Shift your weight back towards your heels, chest lift your thighs. Rise up onto your tippy toes, pull your knees up. Look forward, shift forward, high plank. Legs are wide. Take your right hand, keep it down. Spin onto your right side. Feel free to drop the right knee to the floor. Left arm up, pull the right hip up. Maybe the left arm goes up and over. Find your expression. And then stay in your expression for a few breaths. Remember, the right knee can always be to the floor. Look down at the floor, exhale, hand down. And just go to the other side. Legs are wide. So you should be nice and stable here. Nice wide leg. Lift the bottom side of your body up. Maybe your arm goes over your head. Spin. Exhale, hands down. Downward facing dog. Press your chest towards your thighs. Step your feet a little bit closer together. About hips width apart, of the width of a block. Inhale to high plank. Shoulders over wrists. Spin onto your right side. Yeah, a little bit of core work this morning. Take your arm up and over. So now my feet are still staggered, but they're closer together. Feel free to take them wider. Good. Arm down, switch sides. Just go from one side to the other. Lifting up, again, you can always bring the bottom knee to the floor. Pull up the bottom side of your body. Exhale down, hips up, downward facing dog. Good, one more time, bring your feet together now. Come high onto your high plank. With the feet stacked, turn to your right side. Again, bottom leg can come down. This makes it more challenging. If you still want to challenge yourself, lift the top arm, top leg up. Hold on to it, do whatever you need to do to make it yours. We're not here that long. Good, switch, other side. Feet are stacked, so you notice the closer we get, the more challenging it is to maintain, and then you do what you need to do from Exhale, arm down, plank, downward dog, separate your feet hips width. High up onto your tippy toes, bend your knees, walk yourself to the top of your mat. Coming into standing forward fold, Uttanasana. Take two fists in between your feet so you know you've got the proper amount, amount, amount of width. Take opposite elbows. Let the weight of your head, your torso, gravity pull you downward. Legs are straight or bent, whatever your body needs. Sway or stay still. Switch the cross of your arms. Good, stay for another moment here. Let the arms dangle. And place your hands on your hips. Lengthen your spine, rise to stand. Good, arms down by your side. Inhale, I'm gonna just switch my camera angle a little bit. Turn your, lift your arms up, come all the way up. Arms up overhead. Exhale, take your left wrist with your right hand, palms up, lift out and over to the right side. Heart open, throat visible. Pulling left arm to right, hugging hips towards midline. Inhale, center. Take the other side. Reaching that right arm up and over, like there's a ball underneath you. Squeeze and hug your hips in. Inhale, back to center. Open the arms, lift your heart up. Little cactus or goddess arms, or goal posts, as Lori would like it to be. Exhale, arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, palms together, knuckles down, lift your chest. Exhale, fold all the way over your legs, soften the knees. I don't know if you were in my fitness class yesterday, you might need this kind of a nice stretch here. Release your hands to the floor of blocks, halfway lift. Exhale, fold your body over, head towards shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Right foot steps back. Low lunge, you can stay here or go to your knee. Right hand moves in center, left hand twists open, breathe. Inhale, hug your hips in towards midline. Exhale, sink your hips a little bit lower. Lift your belly away from your thighs and breathe. Three, two, one. 
two. Walk your hands on the inside of your left leg. Walk your hands to the left corner of your mat. You'll sink a little bit lower. Perhaps you need to drop the knee to the floor. Pushing down and away at the same time. Walk your hands inside, left leg. Spin your right foot on its side. Tuck your hips under so that left glute comes into the midline. Right arm to hip or overhead. Maybe you're on your fingertips so you can find a little more lift underneath your torso. One more breath. Good, exhale, come on down. Square up your shoulders and hips, hands on either side, step back to high plank. Pull your knees up, shift a little forward, bend your elbows, go halfway down or to your knees. Roll over your toes or on your belly. Downward facing dog, hips up in the air. Inhale and exhale. So take a few moments in down dog just to settle. Left leg in the air, nice and high. Look between your hands. Bring it on through. Step right foot to left foot, top of the mat. Exhale, fold your body in half. Inhale, rise to stand. Bring your arms overhead. Take the prayer to the heart. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Forward fold, exhale, hands to floor, shins or blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot steps back. Low lunge, right knee over the ankle, left leg is straight like it's in a plank. Good, left hand moves in, right hand moves to the hip, twist to the right side. And then stretch the arm up overhead if that's for you. Make sure you don't have your belly collapsed onto your thigh and hug that right hip in. Inhale, back leg is strong and active, one more breath. As you exhale, hands down, inside the foot and out to the left side of your mat. Hug the right knee to the tricep. Hold it there, not your breath, just hold the pose. Settle into it, back, back leg is active, active, active. One more breath. Good, hands walk in. Spin your back foot on its side. Use a block if you need to. Right hand stays down, left hand comes to the hip, or perhaps in the air, right side parallel to the floor. Bring your right hip with you. Lift your bottom side body up. Inhale. Exhale, last time. Look down as you empty the breath, hands down on either side of the foot. Step back to your high plank. Take it through a vinyasa, skip it, add to it. So some of you like to add push-ups, some of you like to skip push-ups. I'm with you. Inhale the right leg high in the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, left foot meets right, top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, rise to stand, bring the arms with you. Exhale, prayer to the heart. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hands to floor, shins or blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk, step, float, hop, fly through your chaturanga or skip it and meet right in downward facing dog. So skipping right to dog is perfect. Take a couple of breaths when you are in dog. Shifting away from your body, your hands to your back body. Inhale on your toes, bend your knees, look forward, make your way to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, breath to stand up, bring your hands together in prayer to your heart, down by your side. Inhale again, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hands to floor, shins or blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, walk, hop, fly, jump. Whatever you do, do it well, do it safely. Make sure you're not jamming your joints and we all meet in downward facing dog. Inhale on your toes, bend your knees, take a look at the front of your mat, make your way there, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, ride your breath, stand all the way up, hands to prayer. Exhale, one more time everybody, nice and warm. You can do it on your own or follow through with me, I think some of you know this by now. We all meet in downward facing dog, whichever way you get there. Breathe in, breathe out. High on your toes. <coughs> Excuse me, 
soften your knees. <coughs> Look forward, make your way to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, stay here. Take a hold of your peace finger grip on your big toes. Wrap your thumbs underneath your fingers and your toes. Pull up on your toes, look forward. Exhale out, elbows to the sides, head to the shins. Put your weight more towards the balls of your feet. Let your head go, shake it out, yes, shake it out now. Inhale, halfway lift. Good, release your hands to the floor. Make sure your feet are in a comfortable stance for you right now, wider or closer, your choice. Bend your knees, sit your weight back towards your heels. Let your fingertips hover off the floor. Sit a little bit further back so that your, your heels are down, your knees are over your ankles. And then bring your hands to your hips, lift your torso a little bit. And then stretch your arms out in front of you. Sit the weight all the way back. And now lift your torso, but keep your hips low. So maybe the arms go a little higher. Exhale, sit a little deeper. Push through the bottoms of your feet. Inhale, your way to stand. Hands to your heart center. Exhale, arms by your side. All right, we're gonna bend our knees. Hands to prayer, chair pose. Exhale, sit back. Keep your heart open. Twist to the right side, left elbow outside, right thigh. Look down and check out your left knee. It want, kind of wants to shoot forward, right? So bring it back in line. Drop your seat. Hands in prayer to your heart. Belly is lifted. Keep looking towards the floor and you choose. Can you step the left leg back without changing anything or do you have to put your hands or your knee down? So step back. We're in a twisted lunge to our right side. If your left leg is off the floor, it's strong, strong like it's in plank. Hug your hips towards midline, lift your belly off your thighs, inhale, and exhale. Strong back leg, think strong. One more breath. Good, look down, take your right arm inside your right thigh, twist to the left side and turn your left side, your left toes on their side. And now exalt the arms just the way we did before. Right arm up, uh, right arm down, left arm up. Open up your heart, breathe. Right thigh strong, left leg strong, pinky toe to the floor. Maybe check out your alignment before you make any other moves. Look down at your right toes and inhale. Don't change your legs, come to warrior two, exhale. Now straighten it up, give it a little break. Rebend right knee, warrior two, find your gaze. Right hand out, left hand back, moving through the center of your body, reaching in two directions, inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. Sit a little bit longer. A little bit lower, a little bit deeper. Find your breath. Good. Exhale. Windmill hands down. Come back into a low lunge. And then reach your arms up overhead. Crescent lunge. Exhale. Bring prayer to the heart. Inhale. Lean forward. Twist right, uh, left elbow outside, right thigh. Look down at your toes. And step left foot back to meet right, right foot back, top of the mat. Lift your belly off your thighs. Drop your seat low. And as you exhale, fold over your legs. Separate your feet a little bit wider. Let your body go. Shake it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're going to ragdoll the stand this time, all the way up to standing. Roll your shoulders back and around. Heel toe your feet together, arms up, inhale. Exhale, bring prayer to your heart center. Feel the beating of the heart. Inhale, bend your knees and sit back into chair pose as you exhale. Keep the length in the torso, right arm outside, left thigh. Look down at your right knee, draw it back as you sit down lower. Thumbs to stern, thumbs to heart. Follow your breath, follow your gaze. Then look down at your toes. Now you decide how you make your way back. One leg at a time, hands down, knee down, and we might meet in a twisted lunge. Very good, guys. Now readjust your torso off of your thighs and rotate your torso. Inhale and exhale, sinking my right hip down, hugging my left hip in. 
and just lifting my belly off the thigh. One more breath. Look down, left elbow inside, right thigh, take a twist, and then spin your back foot on its side and hug your left hip in. Exalt your arms right up, left down. Maybe a block is useful for you. Inhale and exhale. So your left thigh is parallel or as close to parallel to the floor as you can. The knee is bent, look down at the toes. Don't change the legs as you come up to warrior two, exhale. Now come out of it for a breath and re-bend. Reach forward and back in two directions. Warrior two, inhale and exhale. Think about opening your outer thighs open, your upper thighs open, and your inner thighs closed. So there's a lot of action happening. One more breath. Good. Exhale, hands down. Stay here. Low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, prayer to heart. Lean forward. Rotate torso. Outside, left thigh. Right arm hooks. Right knee is lifted. Breathe in and out. Look down to your left toes. Step together at the top of the mat, however you get there. Inhale. And exhale, forward fold over your legs. Separate your feet. Halfway lift, inhale. Bend your knees enough to lift your toes up and slide your hands all the way underneath. Wrap your big toe around your wrist, look forward, inhale. Exhale, elbows out to the side, head to the shins, and breathe. Let the crown of the head reach towards the floor. Halfway lift, inhale. Release your hands from your feet. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand all the way up. Bring your hands to prayer. Heel toe your feet together. Inhale. Bend your knees. Chair twist, left elbow outside, right thigh. Look down at your toes and step your left foot back. However you get there, your choice, or maybe it's the body choice today. As you exhale, right arm comes to the inside of the left right thigh. Left foot turns on its side and we exalt the arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, settle. Inhale, palms up. Keep your legs the same, left arm down, right arm up. Side bend, reverse warrior. Exhale, straighten right leg, arm shoulder height. Maybe heel toe in a little bit, move your hips to the left, move your torso to the right, triangle pose. Right arm down, left arm up. Stack shoulders, breathe. Inhale and exhale. Think about turning your torso to the left side. Think about hugging your inner thighs towards center and your outer thighs away and finding that length into your right side body. One more breath. Inhale, reverse your triangle, legs are straight. Exhale, spin around, turn your back toes on their side. Lift your arms up, hands to prayer. Exhale, lean forward, left arm outside, whoops, outside right thigh. Your choice, what you do with the arms, you can bind, you can exalt, or you can stay where you are. Look down at your right toes, step left to right, chair twist. Exhale, fold over your legs, separate your feet, let it go for a moment. Inhale, halfway lift. Make your way to standing, hands together overhead. Heel toe your feet together, exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, sit down, chair pose. Chair twist, right arm outside, left thigh. Drop your seat down, breathe. Look down at your toes, make your way to your right foot stepping back into a low lunge twist. Inhale. Exhale, take your left arm inside, spin your right foot on its side. Any variation or exalt the arms. And lift up, 
four for you too as you exhale. Settle in. Flip your palms. Right arm down, left arm up. Nothing changed in my legs. I'm fine. Keep bending that front leg. Get into it. Good. As you come out of this, straighten your front leg. Adjust your back leg if you need it. Move your hips right, torso left. Left arm down, right arm up. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, keep the legs the same. Right arm down, left arm up, reverse your triangle. Now exhale, we're going to spin around to the front, low lunge. Hands to prayer, exhale, lean slightly forward. Right elbow outside, left thigh. Look down, make your way to the top of your mat. And then exhale, fold over your legs. Separate your feet. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, palms together, knuckles up and over your head as your head comes down to your shins. Send your weight a little bit forward to the balls of your feet, so no chance of hyperextending your knees. Put your knees as bent as they need to be. Inhale and exhale. Using the strength of your arms to help assist you to stand and come on up. Knuckles down, lift your chest up, do a little back bend, a little big, whatever feels appropriate to you. And then rise up to standing. Release your arms, roll your shoulders back and around. Bring your arms down by your side. Balance on the left leg, lift the right knee up off the floor. Flex the foot. Good. Open the knee out to the side. Take a hold with your right hand. Take your left arm out to the side. Hug your left hip inward. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your right leg to center. Switch arms. Right arm out across. And if you have it in you to take your eye gaze to your hand, feel free. And then come back to center. Release the arms in the air. Set your foot down, chair pose, exhale. Push through the bottoms of your feet to rise up. Exhale, arms by your side. Inhale, little hands to prayer, weight in your right leg. Hug the right hip into center, lift the knee up a little higher. Open it out to the side. Take your hand and assist it. Right arm comes out. Keep hugging the right hip in, this, that's the deal. Not collapsing into the side of it. Eye gaze can be wherever it makes you balanced. And then come back to center, switch arms. Take it across the body. Maybe you look at that left arm. Breathe in, breathe out. Very nice, very nice. Come back to center, release your knee, arms up. Woo. And then set your foot down, chair pose, exhale. Inhale, fold over your legs as you exhale, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, high plank. Lower to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot to your right hand. Turn the left foot on its side. Warrior one, arms up. Inhale. Take it down on the exhale through your chaturanga. All the way through. Inhale, lift your heart. Upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot to right hand. Left hand, excuse me. Right foot turns. Arms up, warrior one. Exhale, send it through your vinyasa. Use that breath all the way through chaturanga. And then inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Couple breaths here, just clearing the slate a little bit more. High on your tippy toes. Bend your knees, look forward, make your way to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chair pose, Utkatasa. Exhale, prayer to heart, left elbow outside, right thigh. Inhale, look down, 
Exhale, left foot steps. Turn your torso on its side, inhale. Exhale, right arm inside, left foot turns on its side. Exalt the arms or stay where you are. Look down at your right toes, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, settle. Inhale, flip palms, reverse warrior. Exhale, straighten legs. Just adjust your legs if you need to, triangle pose. You know we're only here for a moment. Good, exhale, left arm down, right arm up. Turn it to the front for crescent lunge, arms up. Good, now bring your hands to prayer, lean forward. Take your left elbow outside your right thigh. Option to stay here or lower your knee to the floor. Keeping your twist so that both arms are on the outside of your right leg, perhaps the hands will come to the floor. And if that happens and you want to balance, place your elbows like chaturanga arms and let your hips sit on your arms. And then maybe one or two legs can float off the floor. And if you're not interested in trying it, the twist is great. Stay in the twist. If you're flying, make your way back. Everybody, bring your back knee to the floor. You're in twist. Good. Breathe. Bend your left knee. Kick the heel to the buttocks. See if you want to grab it with your right hand. And you can keep the other hand in prayer twist or take it onto the floor and walk a little forward. You choose. The balance will be probably a little safer with your hand back on the floor. We're only here for a moment. One more breath. Then gently, if you hold the foot, release the foot. Everybody in prayer twist for the breath, just kind of a transition. Exhale, hands to the floor. Straighten your front leg any amount and fold over it. Pull your right hip back. Toes up or down, you choose. Breathe in, head to shin, and let it go. One more breath. Good, now re-bend the knee. Tuck the toes underneath you. Take your fingertips and hover. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, we're back to that twist outside. Right thigh, step your left foot to your right foot, twist, exhale, fold over your legs, separate your feet, let it go. Inhale, rise to stand, bring your arms with you. Exhale, prayer to the heart, feet together, bend your knees, chair pose, last time. Right elbow outside, last time for this sequence anyway. Lift your torso, twist. Look down at your toes, right leg steps back, low lunge twist, adjust yourselves. Exhale, left elbow inside, right thigh, right foot spins, tuck your tailbone under, exalt the arms, look down. Inhale, up to warrior two, exhale, settle. Inhale, reverse your chart, your warrior. Exhale, straighten front leg, reach out, triangle pose, your pose. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, come forward, crescent lunge. Hands to prayer, lean forward, twist outside right thigh, left thigh, excuse me. Now stay here, lower the knee if you'd like, and maybe you wanna try that arm balance again. Top of the foot, shin down, look over your left shoulder. Place your hands on the floor or blocks and see if you can just even get to that action right there. And then perhaps you want to lift off the floor with your back leg and or your front leg, bend the elbows and have a seat on your triceps. Some of you can do this without the left arm being involved. I can't just yet, 40 years later. So maybe the legs come up, maybe they don't. It's all, you know, it's all fulcrums. So we have to go back to science class. Not my best subject, but wherever you put the center, that fulcrum, is how you're gonna balance on it. Okay, so enough of science. If you are flying, come back into your twist. If your knee is off the floor, let's everybody lower the knee to the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, tuck your right toes under and kick your heel to your butt. Right there using your own hamstring strength. 
And then if you'd like to take your left hand to that foot. The right hand still in prayer or on the floor in front of you. That's going to, uh, I should say, obviously give you more balance, but maybe it's not obvious. But the more bases of support you have, the more balanced you'll be. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Let's gently let go of the back foot if you're holding it. Back to your prayer twist for a breath. And then exhale your hands to the floor. Straighten your front leg and fold as much as you can. Any variations, a full split, a half split, sitting on your heel, toes up, toes down. The most important thing I can give you, the suggestion here, is to listen to your body and let it guide you. Couple more breaths. Good, and slowly make your way out of it, back into a low lunge. Tuck your toes of the right leg underneath you, and then slowly make your way back up to crescent lunge. Exhale, prayer to heart. Lean forward, twist. Exhale, right foot to left, chair twist. And then come to a forward fold, exhale. Separate your leg, shake it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to hips or heart, come up to stand. Arms by your side. All right, all 10 toes on the floor, spread them apart. Tuck your tailbone, lift your kneecaps up, pull your shoulders back, collarbones forward. Inhale. Exhale, right knee to chest, hold in prayer. Flex the foot. This time we're going to open the leg without using the hands, if you can. Hug the left hip in. And then bring it across the body. Hold it. Come back to center. Open the leg to the right again, and now grab a hold of the foot and place it above or below the knee or on the floor. Hug the left hip towards midline. So once you get into your, your tree, hug, beautiful guys, hug that left hip in. Stand up nice and tall and straight. Strong like an oak, flexible like a willow. Breathe. One more breath. Empty the arms, empty the breath, and release the arms, legs down, shake it out. Center yourself. Hands in prayer, exhale. Waist shifts to the right leg, but we don't collapse into it, right? So we stay lifted, stay nice and strong. Left leg lifts up, knee high. Open the knee to the left side without the use of your hands if possible. back to center and take it across the body. Just a little bit, doesn't have to be huge. Inhale back to center. Open it out. And maybe take a hold of your foot, place it on the inside of the thigh or below the knee, and hug the right hip in towards midline. Breathe. Anything you do with your arms is fine. Let it speak to you. Let the pose take Shake it out. All right, standing at the top of your mat, everybody. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, or hop. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale. Inhale to high plank, everybody. Look forward. Slowly lower yourself to the floor all the way down. Good. First, come to your forearms. Elbows under shoulders. Palms open or down, but we're not connecting them here. So, lift your chest up. Rest above your pubic, no, above your hip bones, below your pubic bone. So that little triangle. So did I say it right? Below your hip bones, above your pubic bone. Breathe. 
breathe. Inhale, lift your heart for exhale. Now, you can stay here or bend your right leg. And you can stay right there. Or just keep your left hand down. Take your right hand either to the foot, ankle, bring it towards you. Some of you will be able to place your palm with your fingers down on the heel of the foot. If your shoulder, and some of you I know have shoulder things going on, so listen to your body. If the internal rotation is too much or the external, just do the foot without the arm. And keep your left, your right here pressing down if you do that. One more breath, high crossing. Exhale. Good. If you're holding on, just gently relax. Come back to your sphinx. Now bring yourself down to the floor. Turn your toes in. Place your head on your hands. And just shift your hips from side to side. Release a little of that tension. Come back to your forearms. Good. Sphinx pose. Can you do that, Cosby? Bend your left leg if you'd like. You can keep it right here. The thigh doesn't have to come off the floor. Using the pressure into the right hand, take the left hand and you grab wherever it works for you. Maybe your fingers turn in towards you and you just kick your heel towards your buttocks. Trying to press the left, I know it's hard, down. You don't have to lift the thigh off the floor. Breathe in, whoops. Breathe out. Release the foot carefully through sphinx and then take your hands underneath your head. If you turned your head, turn it in the other direction. Good, bring your legs a little closer together. Take your forehead to the floor. Bring your arms by your side, palms face up. Now keep the lower body on the floor, push the top of the foot shin down, thighs down, or knees are really lifted nice and strong, but you're pushing your pubic bone down. Now lift your torso only and reach your arms behind you. Reach, reach, reach. It's like you're gonna reach for your feet because eventually you possibly will. Lift a little higher into your upper body. Exhale, right, uh, left ear to the floor, turn your head right. Let your knees and toes, everything settle. Come to your forehead. This time we're gonna keep our upper body down and lift our lower body. So take a breath. Exhale, push your pubic bone down, lift your legs up off the floor. Reach long out of your fingers, out of your toes. Now inhale, lift your torso up, reach towards your feet. Superman got nothing on me. Breathe, breathe, resting on the pubic bone or the, the hip bones, you know, that little triangle space. Exhale, lower down, turn your toes in pigeon, right ear towards the mat. Okay, one time, come back to center. Bend both knees. Reach around for your ankles in any direction with your shoulders that you feel you'd like. You can cross your arms, you can take it on the inside. As you inhale, lift your chest up, push your thighs down, push your pubic bone down, then begin to lift your thighs up, chest up, and kick your feet away from you. Put a lot of energy in the legs, kicking away, lifting your heart, kicking away, lifting your heart. Breathe in, breathe out, kick a little higher, lift a little higher, and then exhale everything down. Push back to child's pose, sit all the way back on your heels. Walk over to your right side. I'm just gonna turn my mat at this point. And then walk to the center to your other side. Come back to center. And inhale, walk your hands back in. Send your legs off to either side and bring the legs out in front of you. Dandasana stack pose. Adjust yourself and adjust your cameras if we need to. Good, just shift a little side to side. 
Lifting up the flesh from underneath the sitting bones. Flex your feet, take your hands by your side. Inhale. Exhale, bend your right knee. Place it in line with your sitting bones. Sitting bone. Right hand makes a fist and you have the space between your inner foot and your inner thigh. And then place your hands down on the floor, lift your chest up. Inhale. Keep your left arm down. Reach your right arm up. Keep your hips grounded. Reach out of your torso and then reach across the inside of your right knee to the outside of your left foot or thigh or shin. Breathe. Lengthen your spine. If you can't hold on, there's always a towel, a strap, something that you can use. Right hand across the body and twist. Now, if you can hold on to this left foot, great. If you'd like to take a bind, right arm comes in front, left arm comes behind, grab where you can, lift your torso up, and make the twist from the length of the spine here. And then inhale back to center, and just fold over your left leg to whatever degree you can. Let it go. Inhale, lift up. Release the bind if you have it. Hug your knee to your chest and twist to the outside of your right leg. Come back to center. Release your legs. Shake it out. Shifting your weight from side to side. Flex your feet nice and strong. Left knee bends in line with your sitting bone. Fist between your inner thigh and your inner foot so you're not just directly on your skin. Good, lengthen your spine. Now take your left arm up, reach out of your torso, ground your hip, reach out and over and inside and across. So inside your left leg and across to the right. Breathe in and twist a little deeper. Now you can stay right here. This helps you to get your shoulder in front of your knee or your underarm. And then maybe some of you want to take that bind, left arm behind, right arm behind, and we lift and twist to the right side. Keep your right leg active. Good. Stay with the bind if you have it and fold forward everybody. Fold forward some way. Now inhale, lift up, slowly release your bind, and then turn yourself and hug your right, right hand around your left thigh, hip down to the floor. Inhale to center. Exhale, step your left leg out, shake it out. Adjust yourself so that if you roll down, you will be on your back, and your head will be on your mat. Take a breath in, one, one breath here. Exhale, reach forward to your toes, to your block, to your whatever you have, bend your knees, do whatever you gotta do, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, release. Chin to chest, round and curl, roll down to your, to your floor. As you get to the floor, you're going to hug your knees to your chest. Nice hug. Open the arms out, hips right, knees fall left, twist. Inhale through center. Move hips left, let your knees fall to the right. Inhale onto your backs. Exhale, hug your knees to chest, lift your head and shoulders. Head down, legs out. Arms up, take a big breath in. And as you exhale,
exhale to make your way to your final shavasana. And if you're not ready for that, take any other pose that you'd like. And make your way when you can to some stillness. To letting go. Internally gazing through your body. And let go. Start to listen to your breath, making deeper sounds. Start to move your fingers, your toes, your wrists, your ankles. Make your way back. Bring yourself into either side. Stay sat down, go in peace. Everybody have a wonderful rest of your day. Now you can navigate all the twists and turns of your day. If you're home, stay home, stay fit, stay healthy, get vaccinated. <laughs>